Hey, what's good, y'all? I'm back and welcome to the channel. We have a good video here today, so I'm gonna need y'all to comment down below what y'all feel. But today we're talking about the top five strongest characters in Boruto. Let's get to it. It's not a top five list, but our honorable mention. All right. So the honorable mention goes to Kawaki. Yes, Kawaki is an honorable mention. The only reason why I'm saying he's an honorable mention is because not for nothing, not for nothing, the people he's been losing to, to in Boruto ain't no slouches. Like he, he's lost to time skip Boruto. That's nothing to sit here and bat an eye at. That's an L that he deserved, all right? He lost to the Sinju. Once again, another high tier character right there. So it's not like he's just losing to anybody. But the five people I got in front of him, they just take the cake. They do. The fact that during this whole time skip, Kawaki has not practiced his ninjutsu or any type of basic ninja abilities or ninja techniques, that is why I have him ranked so low. And that's because, not for nothing, he is the only character that didn't really develop. He depends way too much on his karma. To everybody else in the verse, he's stronger than. But the top, like I said, the top five people ahead of him, and it's just. They're in a different class. They really are. So this is a disclaimer, all right? The five characters ahead are not Sinju. They're not in this list. So I'm just letting y'all know that now. I had to put this little disclaimer in here. Now, number five, I put Cold. Yes, I think Cold is stronger than Kawaki. The reason why, when they had that three-man stalemate between Kawaki, Cold, and Boruto, Honestly, Kawaki was the one that did not have no type of experience fighting, especially with this class of talent right here. Cole was going up against Sasuke, who got a... People don't understand. When he lost his Renegon, Sasuke got a chakra buff. So, Cole was going up against an elite, elite version of Sasuke and Boruto while he was training, all right? And it's not for nothing... Cole only lost to Boruto. He's not losing to anybody else. Not, like, in my opinion, he's not losing to anybody else. Cold, whether y'all like it or not, is stronger than Kawaki at the moment. But I'm sorry, just because he, he lost a, um, a battle does not make him any weaker than Kawaki. Kawaki has been getting his ass bust. Cole is going up against elite, elite rivals right now he's going against the Sinju he's going up against Boruto and Kawaki Code is nobody to sleep on so I got him at number five now this is where this list gets a little bit juicy all right the people I'm sitting here at four and three I have in a competition is you could pit this person four or that person four or this person three and that person three but I'm telling you guys, Sarada, yes, I said Sarada and Himawari are tied for three and four in the Boruto verse, all right? Please hear me out. We do not understand how strong either of these characters are, but I feel like they can spank cold. First off, let's talk about Sarada, all right? Sarada is going up against her father, Sinju, okay? And she's holding her own. Her reaction speed is faster than um, Kawaki's. It's faster than Cole's, okay? Jura, I believe, that's the one he not to, um, he Mari is fighting. That one is after Naruto. Let me explain that to y'all. That one is after Naruto, the strongest person in the Naruto verse. Yes, he may not be the strongest person in the Boruto verse, but this version of Naruto we're gonna get when he gets out of the Daikokuten will be a beast. Now, I'm sitting here saying we could switch them three and four because, yes, there is an unknown about Sarada's Mangekyo shining on abilities, but we are unsure how strong Himawari is. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because think about it Himawari can still use the Byakugan. Right now, her chakra is blended so perfectly with um, Karama's that, not for nothing, it can be the same type of thing. It can be. She could go into this mode and still use the Byakugan, and we cannot forget that Naruto had a full nine tails, a full nine tails 
in him and she poked him as a child when she was pissed off now she has a maybe a barry on mo buff on top of that that right there is busted so i have sarada for because we don't know how strong she is and right now she is going up against her father Sinju right now and not only is she holding her own once again i'm gonna say this again she is not using her mangenki of sharding on and not for nothing she is counteracting things that a Baryamo Naruto had to re could only counteract to. I need y'all to think about that. And yes, Sarada has Jutsu out the ass. So basically, these two are three and four because we don't know how strong they are, but we know they're stronger than the previous other characters, and they're holding their own. So three and four goes to either way. In my personal opinion, I'm going to have Himawari four, and then I'm gonna have Sarah the three, but either way, depending on the day, you can flip them. That's just how I feel about it, y'all. Now, number two, it's gonna, I feel like it's gonna cause some issues between everybody in the verse, right? In the community, right? Number two, hear me out. The number two strongest person in Boruto, two blue vortex, is Boruto, all right? Yes, we have seen Boruto use purple lightning, rising on Uzuhiko. Um, purple lightning. I think he used purple lightning. We have seen Boruto use so many jutsus that Naruto could only fathom at this stage of his life. I'll only have Boruto at number two. Boruto is the only person I think that he, Boruto could spank everybody. The Rasengan Uzuhiko is literally the most busted jutsu. He could basically treat himself like he's in a um, a trigram palm rotation. With the raw thing on Uzuhiko, and you can't touch him, or that's pretty much GG's for you, unless he wants you to actually get out of the jutsu. Broto is the most skilled on this list. He's definitely the most strongest on this list. He has the most abilities. He still hasn't used Pura yet. He still hasn't used his karma marking yet. And look what she's doing. Once he's changed the karma marking, I feel like Broto is going to be number one. But the first person on this list. Y'all cannot sit here and debate me with it, all right? Y'all can't. Damon. Yes, Damon is the strongest person in the Boruto verse still. The only reason why I really could sit here and validate this is because of one manga panel, okay? In Boruto Blue 2 Blue Vortex Chapter 2, when Boruto used the Rasengan Uzuhiko, Damon was the only person to realize what was going on first and he was not impressed when i say not impressed he was impressed but he wasn't worried that boruto was a threat to him still that just tell you tell y'all that kishimoto who had took over two blue vortex at the time still wants us to know that damon is still in a class of his own that panel right there we still haven't seen damon actually try and the fact that he can sit here and say this version of boruto which is basically outside of the sinju curb stomped everybody who got in his path mitsuki kawaki he was cold that's three elite people right there and he spanked them no diff no trying nothing and damon is sitting here saying maybe the strongest jutsu we have seen in the series which possibly may is the strongest jutsu in the series. He's not even scared at that. Damon deserves the number one spot. I'm sorry if y'all don't agree, but the proof is in the pudding. These are that's a fact. Damon was impressed, but he was not worried about Boruto. He still doesn't see Boruto as a threat. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. So that's the top five strongest characters in Boruto. Comment down below how y'all feel, who y'all think I'm leaving out, who you think deserves an honorable, an honorable mention, and holla at me in the comment section. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'm out. Talk to y'all later.